Are you still living in a dirt hut? It's just temporary. Would you like to live in a sturdy medieval house instead? Say, that does look cozy. Then do I have a deal for you. This fine medieval house can be yours for the low price of 64 diamond blocks. I guess I'm staying in my dirt hut then. Oh, well, would you at least watch the tutorial video then? I can do that. Hello, my name is Tridar. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a medieval house in Minecraft. Let's get started. So let's take a tour of our medieval house. As you can see here, it is done in a typical medieval style with the timber frame construction here with the tree trunks and the wood and everything. On the lower sections, we have some cobblestone here and there. But as we go higher up in the building, everything turns to wood except for the detailing. Around here, we of course have three distinct chimneys inside of our house as well and it is also a delightfully um, a medieval in characteristic meaning it is rather asymmetrical uh, but the roofs are also uh, sagging down in the middle here as well and leaning out on the eaves over here also giving that a nice characteristic uh, medieval style of overhanging the lowermost sections as the building increases in height. Uh, this is very typical of medieval structures. When they would build something on the ground floor, they would usually have only a small amount of land, if, especially if they're building in a city. So to get extra floor space, they would just uh, hang the floors out. An additional block over that, and as they would go up, they would continue hanging the structure out a bit more, just as much as they could, to uh, get as much living space as they could out of the plot of land that they had. Uh, but uh, that's the exterior tour. Let's take a brief look on the inside here With a quick potion so we can see around so we do have a, a Very small entrance corridor here with a nice little hearth. We do have on either side of that Large rooms that both have a hearth inside of them as well A couple of windows around here of course uh, medieval times not a lot of glass around so we are using the fence post to represent some lattice work. We do have another hearth in here as well though. And if you want to, you can put, of course, campfires in these as well. Uh, we go up to the second story, up our rickety staircase. Uh, we do have a number of rooms off to the side here of various, uh, various shapes and sizes. Some of them are easier to get to than the others are. Uh, but, of course, in terms of uh, medieval house design, everything in the house, of course, uh, makes no sense as to why it is built this way. I mean, it wouldn't be a good medieval house if it made too much sense. It's not a Roman house. So, uh, we do have uh, uh, three distinct floors in here around the staircase, as you can see. And uh, some of the rooms have... Um, uh, different uh, sizes and features to them as I said uh, But that's going to be basically all there is on the interior here to see So of course it is an empty house model for you to be able to build and decorate and furnish as you please So we'll just give uh, one little spin around here now for the tutorial Phase of this I'm not going to do the traditional building phases that I do for this one, we are going to do a block-by-block -block version of the tutorial. And uh, by that, I mean what I'm actually going to do is break all the blocks from the top down and just reverse the footage later when I'm making the video. It gives you the same effect, but it, it saves me an awful lot amount of time with uh, producing the video for you. So I hope you will enjoy that. And also remember that the world download will be available in the video description. So if you want to come here and take a look at the house pre-built for yourself, you can of course do that. And the materials list and everything else will be listed in the video description as well. So without further delay, let us begin the tutorial. 